Hi, I'm Hugh Perkins and I want to just go through creating a simple uh, net in PyTorch. Uh, so I'm going to assume you've already installed PyTorch. Uh, I've installed it into uh, Conda, you might have installed it into Miniconda. Uh, and I'm simply going to activate that using uh, Conda being activate PyTorch. Uh, all right, so what I want to do is just play, um, I'm going to assume you've already done the variable forward and backward uh, YouTube because that seems quite popular. Um, and I'm just going to create a, oh no, not RNN. I'm just going to create a forward, a, a simple uh, one or two layer network. Uh, so let's just call it net.py. Uh, and uh, let's make that kind of like that. Yeah, all right. Uh, okay, so what, what we're going to do is we're just going to take, take some random numbers and propagate forward, backward, and check that the loss goes down. Uh, so we will need some sort of loss function and so on. Uh, I haven't practiced this, so I don't know how it's going to go. Anyway, so uh, first we're going to... So I'm going to assume you've done the forward, backward bit, but that's about it. So anyway, so we're going to import Torch. Uh, from Torch, we're going to import the Autograd, and we also want the NM. Um, yeah, okay. Right, then what else do we want? We want some input that we're going to forward through. Uh, so let's say we've got a batch size of, I don't know, like uh, five and um, an input size of, let's say, three. Uh, okay, so then we're just going to do torch.rand, uh, batch size, whoops, uh, batch size and input size. And let's just print that quickly. Uh, so that should just be like uh, a matrix, two dimensional of some random numbers. Uh, let's add in a torch.manual seed just to uh, make the numbers always the same. I mean, normally you wouldn't want that, but I kind of want that just so that it's always the same numbers. All right, so we've got our input tensor, and then we're going to forward this to a network. Uh, oops. Uh, okay, so uh, networks in uh, PyTorch, uh, generally you, we make our own class, uh, call whatever we want to call it. I'm going to call it net. Uh, it should derive from the network module. Um, basically, it should have two functions. It should have an init, uh, which will have a self and maybe some other stuff. And it's going to have a forward, uh, which is going to take a self and uh, the batch, which I'm going to call x. And it can take other stuff if you want, but in the simplest form, it just has x. Right, then what we want to do in the in so uh, the deriving from NM module takes care of a few things for us. Uh, so it's going to take care of the backwards, well, autograd takes care of the backwards. It's going to take care of our parameters a little bit. Um, well, let's just see what we do. So in the init, we're basically going to create our hidden layers and assign those to self. And in the forward, we're going to run the forward propagation using those hidden layers on the X. Uh, so let's say we want two layers, right? So we're going to say, okay, so we want two layers. So we want, let's say, H1 is like la layer one. We give, just give it a name. And we're just going to make a linear layer. And we're going to say, all right, so it's going to have input size, input neurons, and hidden size, uh, output neurons. Uh, but OK, where does it hidden input size and hidden size come from? So basically, we're going to pass those into the constructor. Uh, and then, so when we call this, let's say model equal net, uh, then we're going to say, all right, input size equal input size. So input size is coming from here. We said it's three. And we also want. Um, the hidden size, and we're not going to give it the batch size, that's dynamic, it figures that out at the time that we actually do the forward propagation. Uh, okay, so we've got our model, uh, and uh, well, let's just do a single layer, right? Uh, well, now let's do a couple of layers, right? So let's put in another layer. So we're going to have H2, it's going to be hidden size to hidden size, and let's put in a, a tanner, but we can use the functional for that. Uh, so I'm also going to do from Torch dot n and well no uh, uh yeah um, okay import torch dot n and dot functional as f that's sort of the convention is to import it as f uh, so basically these are things that are not functors which don't have any state uh, so the things that don't have any state or any parameters like these have learned on parameters right so anything with learned on parameters we assign it to self in the init. And then the, the functional ones, which don't have any learnable parameters or any state or anything, we can, we, we can just use them directly. All right, then in the forward, so here we've created our, our, our modules and we've assigned them to init. Um, and that, that means that the module itself, I mean, our overall class called net, if we do things like, uh, like we can do things like zero grad, 
and uh, this is going to zero the gradient on the weights inside both these linear layers. Um, and also like model.parameters uh, will be an iterator over the parameters over each of these layers. Like even though all we've done is we've assigned it to some arbitrarily named attributes here, that's sufficient to register that with the module uh, because these modules uh, registers with this parent class so that these things will actually run on these child bits. Uh, child objects. All right, and then in the forward, we're just going to do okay, x equal self dot h1, and then uh, these are functors, so we simply call it. Right. So this means that we are using the current value of x as the input to this uh, layer, and then this is the new output. Right. And then we're going to do the same with the second layer. Right. But we want to add a tanher layer, uh, so we're using the functional. So I'm going to do like okay, tanher x. Cool. And then we want to return that. Yeah, okay. And let's say we want, uh, let's say the uh, num, let's say we're going to have some classes, right? Let's say we've got two classes. So num, so I'm kind of writing this a bit as I go along, right? So let's make this second one, uh, it's going to map from hidden size down to, to num classes. So its output is just going to have. Uh, it's just going to be a vector of 2. Uh, so that means this is now a vector of 2, right? I mean, with the batch size. So it's going to be like batch size, number of rows, and each row has uh, two columns. So it's kind of, and then we can interpret that as a one hop. Uh, okay, so I don't want these yet. Uh, okay, so we can probably run that. We can do like output equal model uh, input and we can print the output. So that should be like uh, five rows and each row has like uh, two features. Uh, hidden size is not defined. Uh, hidden size is not defined. Oh, we don't have a hidden size, right? We've got batch size, input size. So we need a hidden size. So let's say that's, I don't know, eight or something. Uh, four, let's say four. Uh, I've got an unexpected, in it got an unexpected input size. So we've got uh, input size, input size, input size, hidden size. Oh, we need, also need num classes actually. Num classes equal num classes. Uh, in it got an unexpected keyword argument input size. So this is spelled correctly, spelled correctly. This is spelled correctly, net. Unless it's because of this. Let's try renaming it model. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to call it model. Uh, just in case it's like colliding with some names or something. No, it's not that. Input size equal input size. Oh, because I can't spell it. There's two um, underscores at the end of the name, right? Uh, cannot assign module. Oh, right. And we have to call the um, parent constructor. So I'm using uh, Python 3, so I can just do this. Uh, if you were using Python 2, you would have to do like model dot. Oh, you have to do. I, I, I can't remember. It's something like super model or more. I don't know. I don't use Python. Sorry. Uh, you can look it up. Right. This calls the parent. So if you see this error, cannot assign module before module dot init. Uh, then you have to do this. Uh, all right. Uh, expected about right. Okay. And then the input needs to be an autograd variable. So we're going to make it into an autograd variable. There we go. So we got our output. So we we gave it an input of a batch of five examples. Each example has three features. That's the input size equal three. And we get the output has. Uh, five examples with each with two features, which is the num classes, right? I'm going to leave this video here, and then and then in the next video, I'm going to do the, um, the backward propagation and learning bit. Thank you for listening.